everyone, it's Nancy Bastine. I thought I would do some of my envelopes, my mail art with you guys. Seeing how uh, Deb, artologist, was really thrilled with the, the uh, one kind of envelopes that I have done a, a long, long time ago. I did this kind of envelopes. And then I decided to just do the um, oh the jelly art the jelly plate art they were easier to do <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> but I'm gonna show you what I do and what the ones that I um, the one I sent Deb and it is paper towels mop-up paper towels that you wipe up stuff with is what I glue on there. That's the secret. And what they have on them, I don't know. But I'm going to glue some of these on. Some might be waterproof and some might not be. I don't know. I just grab what I have and and we're going to glue them on with our napkin Mod Podge decoupage. And then I have my, and I'm going to do two at once here. It's just easier to do two than it is just one. But that goober sticking to me. I can't get it off. Yucko. I'll be back, guys. I'm down here in my garbage can trying to get this thing off my finger. Okay. And I have my palette here. Now, I have not used these uh, fluid acrylics on this kind of art. So, this is the first time I'm using them. So, we'll see how it works. So, we're just going to get some stuff on our some glue down and start putting our paper towels down <clears throat> and wherever they land they land and I'm not here to uh, to cover the whole whole thing but if I do it it, it you know I'm um, hopefully I can get both of them in at the same time um, I moved my boom arm down a little bit so you weren't so far away. And this is the texture that was on her. Um, and what you want to do is make sure you tear your paper towels. You only if if you have two ply, you want to make sure you tear them in half. You know. Only put the one ply on. Don't put both of them on. If, especially if you're going to mail it because it's going to make it too thick. And this is just how I do it. Just collage them on there. And whatever's on there, if it if it's not waterproof and it runs, all the better. All the better. Just makes it easier for me to paint. And yeah, there's going to be some drying time in here. And like I said, I need to... <clears throat> I've got iMovie on my um, computer. I probably could figure out how to edit and take the drying time out of... But I don't know. This scares me. <clears throat> Still haven't figured out how to do my blog yet. 
I want to start a blog for deco art so I can upload all my things I do for my um, um, design team now some of these now like this I have not used this this is a piece of baby wipe I've never used one like this before so this is going to be the first I'm going to try it see what it does <clears throat> oh my goodness I've got a frog in my throat I might not like that on there because it's too thick some baby wipes are just put this piece of whatever it is I don't know I just got in my box of stuff and pulled out paper towels and leftover stuff and I want to get a little bit up here I try to take the white off and get the colored part but oh well whatever gets on there gets on there They're just sliding around on me. Goodness sake. Okay, I think that's going to be enough on the front of that one. Move this one over and work on it a little bit. There's a little doggy hair, but there's always doggy hairs in my work. There's doggy hairs all over my house. I try to get them contained. My doggies have a bath every month, but take them to the groomer and they get a little bath. Get their ears clean, get their teeth brushed. Okay. All right. Let's dry this up a little bit. The paper towel really makes a good texture on the, the envelope. I just want to get it dry enough that I can turn it over and do the other side.
I don't want them to stick to my mat. Okay, that's pretty dry. And then we'll just do the back side. My in frame now. I hate that when I'm not in frame. We got a thingy out of our brush. And this is what we do. We just continue on putting these on. And then I'm going to paint just not much. I have not very many colors. That's good. You don't need much on here, really. I'll glue that over on the side rather than bother about cutting it off. Just gonna keep on gluing. And we need one more piece right there. I keep going for that peach piece, but um it's not paper towel, it's something else. Baby wipe, probably. One more piece on this one down here. And then we're going to dry.
Okay. It doesn't take very much of your paper towels to do this. Just a little bit. And I always bring in a lot. But by the time when you um, take them apart and um, tear them, you know, you have quite a few. Okay, I'm just going to dry these up. a little bit of glue I stuck my finger in that yes I did you saw me I didn't want to get the brush out of the water And decided he would, thought he would um, go to the grocery store uh, yesterday or last night and uh, he wanted just to go get out and go to the grocery store I guess and get something to eat and um, so he went there and by the time he got home he was so exhausted and tired that he couldn't even eat what he bought and he was too tired to cook it and he just went up and went to bed. That's how his energy level is just kaput. It's just gone. Downhill. Which is real sad. But I'm sure it'll come back. Once, once he gets over the chemo, it'll come back. So anyway, this is what it looks like in the process. gets dry faster if I stick my hand in here and lift it up a little bit. So you already have pretty stuff going on before you put the paint on, but then it gets prettier after here. Slap that paint on. And all your textures come to life.
Okay, time for paint. I have my um, catalyst tool and we're going to put paint down. And we, I, you know, I just put it any old where it goes. Um, let me see if I can pull you up a little further so you can see what's going on with both of them. And let's get going. So I just get my paints and I just start doing this. And I think I'm going to need the heavy body paints. These, uh, I thought I could use these paints, but they're, uh, I need the heavy body ones, I do believe. These fluid acrylics are not doing what I want them to do. Hmm, wonder what I had on there. Anyway, this is how I do it. I make happy art. I just put down happy art everywhere. That didn't stick, so I'm going to just tear it off. It'll stick to my finger. I'm liking the brightness of these colors, except for they're just not doing what I need them to do like the heavy body acrylics do. But maybe it'll work. I'll give it a try. I'm not going to give up yet. drying fast. I like using the catalyst tool because I can just put little bits on and it makes it more like marks instead of like painting it. Okay, I'm going to unstick myself to it and move it over there and do this one. And like I said, uh, it's the first time I've used these fluid acrylics and so I think I don't like them on this type of art. It'll be okay. Like I said, I like the brightness of them.
but it's something new and so I just need to let it give it a try I didn't put any green. I forgot the green. Gotta have some green in here in this graffiti. All right, let's dry it up so we can do the back side. These are basically dry. Cause see, now we gotta go through the ugly to get to the beautiful stage. gonna set that over to the side and then we'll do this side this back side of this one thinking oh my gosh that is so ugly <laughs> I went quiet, huh? I don't have any stories to tell. No funny ones anymore today. 